Ibrahim Kamara was 19 and had been in Syria since February, a teenager whose family says was radicalized into joining the jihadis. At her home in Brighton tonight, his mother Khadija said she'd heard the news of his death through Facebook and that she was struggling to understand what had happened. I don't want to see the photo of him being dead. I don't want any details. I'm just saying whoever was responsible brainwashing my son to take this kind of measures to go there, Allah will judge between me and them on the day of judgment. Ibrahim Kamara may be the first British jihadi killed in this week's American attacks in Syria. His mother says she doesn't know how he became radicalized. I hate people with this kind of mentality and so, and it all happened so fast. Where he got the idea, I don't know, it all happened so fast. I forgive him as a mom. I forgive him. May Allah don't punish him because of me. I hope he's, he will rest in peace and Allah will have mercy on him. Mrs. Kamara says she was unaware Britain may soon begin airstrikes in Iraq and says she's numb and confused that her son is dead. War is not the answer to bringing peace. I'm praying that one day all this will be over. People will stop killing. I hate war. War is not the answer. War is not the answer. Ibrahim Kamara was a college student here in Sussex and is one of hundreds of young British Muslims who've gone to Syria and Iraq to fight, and leaving behind families amid bewilderment and despair. Duncan Kennedy, BBC News, in Brighton.